wind is back at Bob Walker Stadium, and so are the Razorbacks after a weekend in Arlington. The Grambling State Tigers, they made the bus trip up to Northwest Arkansas for a single game this uh, Tuesday contest. We'll see Colin Fisher today, his third appearance, Logan. He did have to throw a couple of innings in Arlington, so it might be short today. A little opener style. Walker has knocked in a couple of runs. Going to hit this one very high in the air. Shallow right center and both there to make the catch. And you already get a feel, Logan, the wind's going to move that baseball around. Have it. He's not concerned per se, but he'd like to see his team play well here at Bomb Walker. That's an interesting uh, play for Jones. He kind of surrounded the fly ball from Borum. And there's two outs. Wave and a miss. Gets the K. Not a bad 13th game. in the SEC in batting average. And there is ball four. They're 12th and on base. They're 14. And the next one to Diggs. There we go. Serve down the line and lap. Borum over. Won't get there. It's going to take a bounce and go to the bullpen. Scoring is Edmondson. And Kendall Diggs has an eight-game hitting streak. And he drives in the game's first run. There we go. I think. I mean, if we're trying to go to Omaha, we're going to have to play the best, right? A few of these hitters. And the count 3-2 to Sprague Lock. That is ball four. So he's walked three of the four that he has faced. And the bases are full of Razorbacks, and the Beer Hats will come out early. Two and one. Hard hit up the middle. Nice stop by Vargas. Flips to second, but the ball uh, was dropped. No, no, no. It looked like a chance to get the lead runner and maybe a double play, but instead Walker couldn't handle the flip from Vargas after an outstanding play at short. And all of a sudden, you got four catchers. Pull. Smokes one to center. This ball's hit well to the fence, and four will score on a grand slam from Hudson Polk. How about that? First at bat of the season, and he sends one off the batter's eye in center field. I mean, if you're Polk, Logan, you're wondering, when am I going to get some playing time? Am I going to play? Am I going to get 10 at bats this year, 12 at bats? That's making the most out of number one. Absolutely. That's being ready to play. Well, he knew it right there, didn't he? Yeah. So for an Arkansas, just find a little bit of confidence as Peyton Holt rolls one up the middle to the left of second base. That's the nine-hole hitter. Continuing this first inning, and Arkansas will bat around in the first. And Arkansas doesn't want to stop scoring. That ball socked to the gap in left Good center swing. field. Borum on the move. He turns around, looks up. It's off the fence. Holt's going to go to third. He's going to be waved in. Here comes the relay throw from short. It's a little bit offline, and Holt will dive in with the seventh run. He kicks the extra point. Seven-nothing Razorbacks on a double from Edmondson. In the college level, bouncer to the right side. Walker was playing deep. He'll have to charge and throw on the run. It just does get Kendall Diggs to end what was a busy first inning. Arkansas put seven runs on the board, four hits, 11 men came to the plate. In some way, somehow. This is Parker Goyle, Coyle coming on in relief of Colin Fisher. We thought he would only go the one inning and did. A couple of guys that haven't thrown at all. I think he'd like to get in. Ground ball to Holt. He's got it. Throws out Julian Murphy to begin the second inning. Coyle's two-strike pitch. That's going to find its way into center for a base hit, the first grambling hit. You're not able to take a different approach or plan up, but in, in, these, in these bullpen games, here we go. Ground ball to Sprague lot, and that's hey. going to be a double play around the horn. 5-4-3, twin killing. Big chopper to Sprague lot. Hey, that, that seems like <laughs> frustration right there. Aloy with a rope down the line and left. That must feel good for Vahiva. A double off his bat to begin the bottom of the third inning. Victory later on in the season. Jones will drive one to left. Up, out, and gone. Juice. <laughs> one ten off the bat. And when Jason Jones squares up a ball, few can hit it harder or further. And it's 9 0 Arkansas. Coming off a turn like that, being able to wait on a ball at 68 miles an hour and then be able to stay that connected, it's a great swing. Keep in mind, if the wind wasn't blowing in from right, he might have a couple today. Yes, because it can change the course of the game if there's too much noise happening. Peyton Holt will smash one off the glove of Buford, the third baseman, hit that 107 off the bat. So probably a base hit for Peyton Holt, and that's three straight hits for the Razorbacks in this. 
Next one to Edmondson. That one is lined over the leap of the shortstop. Fargus in the left field. Holt got a late break, and that ball was torched off the bat. So he will stop at second base. Dix has really good command of the strike zone. Just cues one softly off the end of his bat, and that's going to dribble into left field. It's going to score Peyton Holt. That was a 65-mile-an-hour single, and Diggs will take it every day of the week, and he gets another RBI. No one said this game is fair, and that was... Chopper up the middle. Can the Tigers get two, and they will. 6-3, double play handled by Fargus, and Edmondson will come across and score. And Arkansas. Liner off the tip of the glove of Vargas, and it's continued to roll, and it's going to go all the way to the track, and Spraglot has himself a double. Another soft liner just off the tip of Vargas's glove on a bounce. Scoring is Spraglot. Arkansas has added another, their 12th of the game. How many plays have been just an inch or so out of the reach of the shortstop Vargas? That's crazy. New pitcher. Cooper Dossett making his season debut. Local product from Springdale. 2-2. Two two two. Oh, wow. How about the movement on that pitch? Was that the cutter? I think it might have been. Get something rolling here in this fourth. Wave it a miss, 95. Tell you what, you mix. Oh. And Dossett will indeed strike out the side. He came back to it, didn't he? Good pitch, good pitch. Two outs, two strikes. Holt will wear that one, and the camera <laughs> will find you. <laughs> yes, it will. <laughs> and that is ball four. So the inning continues. Kansas native will get his plate appearance or at bat. And lines one just past Vargas again in the center. Holt will turn third. He just carries his helmet with him as he glides to the plate with lucky number 13, a baker's dozen worth of runs. This is Jack Wagner. That one's going to go to the backstop, and here comes Edmondson with the 14th run. We saw a lot of the splitter last year from Fouch, and those were his numbers in 21 and a third innings of work. 5.06 third run average. Threw it again, though, didn't he? That one had some movement. I might yeah, have to did. see that one again. Small family, I think, is what makes it fun. And that one is in for ball four. Inman works the walk. It's just kind of the stories passed down Guys, from. Any know. homers got out of that yard. Ground ball rolled to short. Sprague lots got it to hold for one. On to first. Good reach and extension by Wagner. And that completes the double play. 5-4-3 DP. See if Ryder gets something to drive. Ooh, that's Boy. Way he would like, and then put somebody else in that lineup because it's such an art form as Polk will walk. When you can get that barrel to the ball very quickly, takes a 3 2 pitch a little bit up and out. That was a pretty good take, and the bases are loaded. That batter's on this pitch. That ball driven high in the air, deep <laughs> left field. Four will score again. Oh, the no. second grand slam of the game, or maybe the hog pen. <laughs> <laughs> You thought it was only a matter of time before Jason Jones might do some serious damage. How about 108 off the bat? Grand slam, a two homer game, and six runs batted in. Have a day, Jonesy. 425 feet, Logan. Hmm. He did a pirouette last time. Did he give us a little spin here? That must be a great feeling when you know right away that thing is into the hog pen and gone. It bats. So if I'm facing. Goodness, it, Peyton Holt just about took that pitcher with him at 105. Jeez. So we're in the fifth inning. He's trying to be on base five times. Instead, this may be two, four, six, three, double play. Suppose he gets. It's a good message. Here's the one-two. Oh, there you go. Lovich turns on one, sends it out to right field. Diving attempt, but the ball just kicked out of the glove of Hatton. He had it maybe briefly. He lost about half a Dick's Sporting Goods store worth of gear out there. He's trying to pick it all up. I feel like I have time. 105, you, you <laughs> go get it. <laughs> Try to stop it. Wegner's going to deposit one down the line and right, and it gets away from Hatton. He lost more gear. Oh, Here oh. comes Lovich. He'll score. Arkansas has played at 19. Leading into 
conference play. Hard hit, up the middle, into center, base hit. Arkansas is going to score 20. Spraglott has picked up an RBI as Wagner comes across. And it's been an onslaught of offense today for the Razorbacks. And, so, and I said, you're doing OK, by the way. That one smoked off the bat of Helfrick in the left for a base hit. And wide turn by Spraglott at second. He'll hold there. And I said, for Gage, he's thrown three in a third innings, given up three hits and a run this year. Hasn't walked anybody. Great weather while the team was at an indoor stadium to come home and then have cooler weather after we had nicer weather. But <laughs> <laughs> talk about changes and adjustments in this game. Set a swing. Our plate umpire, Sean Arthur, is going to go ahead and ring up Thomas right there. That was right at Sean Arthur. Off the hands. Can Hall beat this out? Nice he play. does not. Nicely done. Sousa hit for Aloy. Hard up the middle. Hits the bag and ricochets by Vargas. And if we were calculating, and now Sousa's going to continue to second base. That was great hustle. Great hustle. Vargas is a ball magnet today. Isn't he? He's batted in from the nine hole and three base hits. All Peyton Holt has done is reach base all five times from the nine spot today. Some guys that are shutting everybody else out, you know. Lovich. Strokes one to left field. He's got another base hit. Arkansas is going to kick their third extra point, make it 21 to nothing. Lobich didn't start the game, yet he's three for three with a couple of runs batted in. Stop just a bit, but here's Tate McGuire, Liberty, Missouri native. He's a strike thrower. Slices one fair. Down the line and left, maybe extra bases. Gardner will... Head towards second, played back in by Jones. That's the second hit of the day for Grambling. And the kids good. stay in the uh, barracks where yeah. the Dodgers used to stay. It's a very cool. It's wonderful. It's, it's, a, it's a museum, isn't it? It is. McGuire trying to end the game. Instead, a base hit to left field off the bat of Jones. Rounding third comes Gardner. The throw to the plate is not in time. And I think McGuire went off speed. Or Eunice the Juco product. Another base hit. That's the third of the inning. Tigers had one all game. They've had three in the span of four batters. So that came on the fastball. Balls, two strikes. There's the wave and a miss. And the game ends, and the Razorbacks in seven innings take down the Tigers 21 to 1. Logan, the offense uh, certainly had a get right game today. The approach, the intent with their work, they wanted to come out here and kind of get that confidence built back up, and, man, it showed today.